Hello, my beautiful Aries friends. Four, four free video readings are going to be given out per month for the rest of the year. All of the winners will be announced on the community page on the first of the following month for the previous month. Everything that you need to do to cash in on your reading, to claim your reading, is going to be in the description box below. Everything's going to take place, all the announcements on the community page. So please be sure to hit the subscribe button and hit all notifications so that you will know if you won one of the 52 readings we are going to give out in the year of 2021. Okay, let's kick it off right. Aries, look at here you are in your reading. Look at you. Aries energy, you have a master plan. You have a big old chess piece right there. And you want, it's all about love and romance and having fun and having stability. You want a relationship with someone who will be your partner for life, who is fun, who likes to explore, who likes to make love, who likes what you like who will bring you into their family. You will bring yourself and them into your family as a couple. What is the overriding concern coming into this reading? You want someone who loves you and who shows that they love you, Aries. That is Cancerian energy. Beautiful. The Ten of Swords. In the past, you have felt as though you've suffered betrayals in love. And what we're seeing is that you're walking away, you've gotten up, you've dusted yourself off in the rider weight that's like laying laid out on the ground, ten swords in your back, look at you. You are so powerful, Aries, you are moving forward towards the sun. I wouldn't be surprised if the sun card comes out in the reading, but we'll see. We have two fire signs already right here, you and Leo. So what is the best that can be achieved right now? Beautiful. Terraform energy. You want to have an offer of love or you will give an offer of love from someone who shares your beliefs, who with someone who shares your outlook, with someone who is enlightened, who knows how to make a commitment, who knows how to create stability. Taurus energy. Sagittarius you have a grand trine in your reading. This is an astrological aspect that says you are now free of all of those negative Capricorn energies that were hitting your chart for a number of years. They are gone with the grand conjunction. You are fully supported by the universe for moving ahead at this time, making plans and creating more stability in your life. Ten of Wands, some of you are going to pack up and move. I'm getting Ten of Wands is Sagittarius energy. This could be moving to a, a location that's far, far away. That's what Sagittarius is. It's usually a, a distance. It's not your local neighborhood. It's, you know, probably a thousand miles away or at least a hundred. I like that. It looks as though it's a journey that you really want to undertake. You've got the ox. You've got the... the um, horsepower, the ox power to do this, to manifest it. You have to make some choices and you're very aware that if you don't make the right choice, you're going to get bitten by it. We have a little coral snake that's poisonous down here. We have a bat wing, you know, bats in the belfry, you know, then we see a ladder of ascension. We see a ladder of ascension here. So you are very acutely aware right now that Aries, you have a lot of things to think about before you make this move that you want to make. Look at that, two of wands energy. You are going to make a choice. We see that you have left the past behind. We have your past is right here. Ten of swords energy, you're finished. You're saying goodbye to the past. You're looking into the future. You're leaning into the window. In this card, she's holding the wand of present. She's making a choice to spin the globe to hop in the VW Volkswagen with the surfboard and go find a way to have fun, enjoy life. The Two of Wands, that is Aries energy. You're going to do it strategically as you make your plan, but you are making a plan so that you can work your plan. Love the energy for you, Aries. Very empowering, very beautiful. 
We're also getting that you want to be with new friends. You want to make friends. You're, you're bothered by, you know, the thought that your friends won't come and visit you is one aspect of the Three of Cups. But what I'm seeing is that you have a powerful ability to have family and friends come and visit you even if you move. You're feeling the big question on your mind is, will I lose anybody that I love? And the answer is absolutely not. You have you bring a lot to relationships. So what I'm getting here is the lovers reversed. Right now you are not going to make a decision with a soulmate. What I'm getting here is that the it doesn't mean you're not going. You do have a lover, so it's very clear. The decision that you're trying to make is is it worth it to move with a lover to a long distance, far away, a lover that has been disruptive to you in the past. You're taking it very seriously. What I really love about this reading is that I feel as though you're going to make the right choice, but you're holding off for now. The old meaning, the original meaning in the tarot deck of the lover's card is making a choice as a young person to leave your family, go out in the world and create your own marriage. So what we're seeing here is that in the reverse, you're just going to hold judgment until you have more information. All right, so before we clarify, I'm going to clarify all of this. We're going to take a look and see what Moonology is giving you in terms of a message to consider during this reading throughout the information and the messages here. What is the overriding energy that Aries needs to look at? Hold your vision. Okay, so absolutely hold your dreams. Just stay still. Hold them very firmly in your heart and in your mind. As a practical matter, what should Aries do to achieve their dreams that they're holding close to them? Strategically, what are some of the things that Aries needs to do at this time? to take action with this beautiful Leo energy of action. Shalim Master, the graceful, the, be graceful in movement and action. So only when you're ready, only when you've strategically put your plan together fully, should you make an actual move or decision. So plan carefully so that you can move gracefully into your future. The moon, take note of intuitive messages. Beautiful. Okay, and then we have medicine mother, honor your inner knowing. And what did I say? I said I wouldn't be surprised if we see a sun card. The sun card. The sun card. Enjoy success and happiness. You're going to do that with your strategic planning in your relationship. Let's look at the, the journey that Spirit is sending you on at this time. This is very much an inner reading for now. As we clarify it, we'll get into the details of the mundane. What is actually happening? Who's doing what? Who's calling? What are we doing? What's the plan in action? So we're going to have that momentarily. All right. So the journey that Spirit is giving you at this time to enjoy is watching clouds lie back, rest, relax. Oh, Aries, you're so hardworking. This is a time in your life when you're going to sit back, relax, and enjoy the fruit of all of the love and the abundance and joyfulness that you've created for other people. Now you're going to have a chance to be the recipient of what you have given. So tell us please, what the clarifier is for the emperor here. What is the clarifier? Yep, hanged man. You are looking at things strategically from a different viewpoint, from all angles. I like it. The, the Oh, this is very in, interesting energy. It says that you are very passionate about this decisions, decision, but you are also going to be cool, calm, collected, almost like an icy maiden or man. You're going to be very, very, you're going to hold back. You're not going to tell your person what you're thinking. You're going to just keep your own counsel as you go forward. It does look as though there's movement here. Let's see why we have the Queen of Cups. 
Okay, so it again, you're withholding judgment. You know that you love the person that you're with, but you also know that you're going to withhold judgment. You're not ready to do Judge Judy with the gavel striking in the courtroom. You are looking for excitement. You intuitively know how to get it. You are juggling different ideas about what action you should take. Again, we have two. We have two. And we also have that one of the criteria to happiness will be having your partner be equal with you in what they give and take. You definitely want to move away from any relationship that is not going to be equal in give and take energy. Let's see what we have. Here we go. Love it. You have the energy going forward strategically with the Knight of Pentacles. That is Virgo energy. That is making a very down-to-earth plan day to day. What am I going to do? So you and your partner are, you're going to make the plan. Your partner is going to support you in this plan. They want you and you don't necessarily know if you're going to bring the tower and leave them at this time or whether you're going to go forward. You do love this person, but... There's been a lot of angst in the past. Temperance, beautiful, that is your clarifier. So it does look as though you choose this person. You do. You are open to the plan that you have that will give the relationship much more stability. I do feel as though you are moving and your person has asked you to move to a destination far, far away to uh, possibly having a new home. What do we have here for the Eight of Coins? Okay, the Eight of Coins is clarifying the Seven of Cups. So you have a very good idea about what you want. You're going to be very practical. You're going to do your research. You're going to study the situation. You're going to be very strategic in making this choice. And we have... Ah, the Ten of Pentacles, that's the choice you make. So it does look like in the next six weeks, it looks as though you make the choice to stabilize the relationship. Again, Virgo energy, your person appears to be in this with you to win it. The Ten of Coins is a marriage card. This Hierophant is a marriage card, typically in the traditional tarot. That's how we think of it as readers. The, yep, here we go. You're worried about moving, though. I get in this card, you know that you'll be happy, but you don't know if it's going to be burdensome. You want to leave your burdens behind. That is a motivator for the changes that you want to make. Strategy is yours. You will move very gracefully through this. Your biggest fear is leaving your friends and family and the people you're close to behind, but you do make a, a bold choice in moving forward. You want your life to get better. You feel as though people can come and visit you that you know at the end of the day you have to do what's good for you and moving is good for you look at that world card closing out you know when you walk away from family and friends in a location it's just a place you will be going a distance away again I see these two cards but I also see this as you being happier you feeling as though you're moving ahead in your life mm, we have releasing judgment. You are going to absolutely have a partnership with a king of wands energy that is going to take you into the future. The choice that you make is to go with a partner as long as they give you what you need, as long as they respect you, as long as they prove to you that they know how to bring their best self to the table. You are, this is this is Taurus energy. You may be dealing with the Taurus. This is Taurus energy. These are all fixed energy. Taurus, Taurus. This is Scorpio and Leo. This is stability absolutely off the charts. If something isn't stable, you will not choose it, period. You will think it's like, you know, a little snake that's going to come out and bite you and you won't like it. I'm getting this gorgeous energy that you're going to go ahead and make this move on your terms. You are definitely not doing anything that requires you 
to give up anything. You will only make this choice if it's you feel very strongly that your life will improve because of it. Your person has to show stability and loyalty. If they don't, you are just not interested. And you will just tell them that you're, you're not ready to make a choice. Here we go. So we do have a challenge. But here we have beauty. Your challenge is... What will you do? And the answer is the Lady of the Leprechauns. You are allowing spirit to guide you in your way. You're using your intuition. You're using, you're taking the messages from spirit. You are challenging your person to be their best self. You absolutely are. And so if they manifest this and the answer is yes, according to what I see as outcome energy in the reading, so let's see what the universe has your back will tell you about this choice should you make the decision to go with your person. I really feel it's the thing to do. This looks like maybe even moving to a resort area or a place where there's a beach or water. I am spirit having a human experience and I'm here to get closer to love. And what could be more loving than... Hierophant, Taurus, we have Taurus, Taurus, Scorpio, and that's till death do us part, and Leo, a passionate, lively, happy existence with lots of love making, lots of laughter, lots of fun, and a wonderful tribe. Aries, it's been a joy doing this reading for you. Send me some love. I'm sending you love from Chicago. Take care, Aries. Bye-bye.